To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee is a seminal work of American literature published in 1960. It's set in the fictional town of Maycomb, Alabama during the 1930s and is narrated by Jean Louise Scout Finch, a young girl. The novel explores themes of racial injustice, moral growth, empathy, and the loss of innocence. Through its vivid characters and powerful narrative, it has become a timeless classic, addressing issues that remain relevant today. The story begins with Scout Finch recalling her childhood experiences growing up with her older brother Jem and their father, Atticus Finch, a widowed lawyer. The Finch family lives in Maycomb, a small southern town deeply divided along racial lines. The children are fascinated by their reclusive neighbor, Arthur Boo Radley, who has been rumored to be a malevolent figure. As the narrative unfolds, Scout and Jem become embroiled in the complexities of their community, grappling with issues of race, class, and morality. One of the central plot lines revolves around Atticus Finch's decision to defend a black man named Tom Robinson, who has been falsely accused of raping a white woman, Mayella Ewell. Atticus, guided by his principles of justice and equality, takes on Tom's case despite facing backlash and prejudice from the townspeople. Through Atticus's defense of Tom Robinson, Lee highlights the pervasive racism and prejudice that existed in the southern United States during the 1930s. The trial of Tom Robinson serves as a microcosm of the racial tensions and injustices prevalent in Maycomb. Despite overwhelming evidence of Tom's innocence, the all-white jury convicts him solely because of his race. The verdict exposes the deep-seated prejudices ingrained in the legal system and society at large. Throughout the trial, Atticus imparts valuable lessons of empathy and integrity to his children, teaching them to stand up for what is right even in the face of adversity. His moral guidance serves as a beacon of hope in a community plagued by injustice and intolerance. Meanwhile, Scout and Jem's curiosity about Boo Radley leads them to reevaluate their preconceived notions about the mysterious neighbor. They come to understand Boo as a misunderstood and vulnerable individual, challenging the stereotypes perpetuated by the townspeople. The novel reaches its climax when Bob Ewell, the father of Mayella, seeks revenge against Atticus for defending Tom Robinson. He attacks Scout and Jem on their way home from a Halloween pageant, but they are rescued by Boo Radley, who emerges from his seclusion to protect them. In this moment, Boo's true character is revealed, showing him as a kind and compassionate individual who cares deeply for the children. The aftermath of the attack prompts Sheriff Heck Tate to protect Boo Radley from the spotlight of public scrutiny, recognizing his heroism in saving the children. Scout escorts Boo back to his home, symbolizing her newfound understanding and empathy for him. As the novel concludes, Scout reflects on the lessons learned from her father and Boo Radley, recognizing the complexities of human nature and the importance of empathy and compassion. She realizes that true courage is not found in physical strength, but in moral integrity and kindness towards others. To Kill a Mockingbird is a powerful exploration of the human condition tackling themes of injustice, prejudice, and the moral growth of its characters. Through its enduring relevance and universal appeal, it continues to resonate with readers, inspiring conversations about social justice and the importance of empathy in our society. Harper Lee's masterpiece stands as a testament to the enduring power of literature to provoke thought, evoke empathy, and spark meaningful change.